Hey everyone, it's John Gonzalez and Amy Sherman from MLive.com, Michigan's Best, and we are celebrating Amy and Michigan's Best Day. We sure are. It's going to be National Fudge Day on Tuesday, June 16th, and we are so excited to get to celebrate it with our friends from Original Murdoch's Fudge on Mackinac Island, which recently reopened to visitors, and I know they can't wait to welcome you back there, but we have a lot of information about if you even can't go to Mackinac Island, how you can still get some fantastic Murdoch's fudge. So let's welcome our guest, Gonzo. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Welcome to the show, Bobby Benzer. How you doing? Hey, Gonzo. Hi, Amy. Happy day. Hey, to Bobby. Nice <laughs> to see you guys virtually. I know, this is so strange. We're so used to being right there in the fudge shop with you on Mackinac Island. And you guys are, are open for business, and you are not only making fudge right on the island, but you're delivering it across the country so people can enjoy fudge on National Fudge Day. We love that. Yeah, tomorrow's National Fudge Day. What better place to celebrate fudge than Mackinac Island? Uh, as you guys know, the, uh, the fudge capital of the world. Um, so we're doing free, not, not free shipping. We're offering uh, a free slice of fudge, Trevor City Dairy Fudge. Um, we use the promo code of uh, Fudge Day, and we're offering that through next Sunday. So if you order our popular five slice gift box, we'll include an extra slice on us of Traverse City uh, cherry cherry fudge. So we had a great weekend. Nice to finally be open. Everybody's been ready to go to work, and uh, I was actually fairly busy this this past weekend. And we know the history of Murdoch's original Murdoch's fudge on Mackinac Island, but can you give us the background of the story again because it's such a great story rich in history and uh, dates back to the when when the Grand Hotel first came on. Yeah, so back to 1887. So that's our 130, somebody help me with the math, 130 <laughs> years or something. I don't know. It's been such an upside down start here. It's been a long time. So 1887, Mr. Murdoch actually came, uh, he was a professional um, canvas worker and sailmaker. So he came to uh, Mackinac Island from Petoskey to work on the canvases at their beautiful Grand Hotel. Uh, that was opening in the summer of 19, uh, 1887. And uh, they brought their confectionery recipes with them. And uh, they started just kind of down the street here at our, at our main store, um, making, we started with just eight flavors of fudge. So if it wasn't really for maybe the Grand Hotel opening and Mr. Murdoch and Mrs. Murdoch coming to Mackinac to work on the Grand Hotel, fudge may not be the phenomena that it is today on Mackinac Island. So, We've been doing it a long time. Uh, we have stores here, say Davis, Macau City, and actually Martha's Vineyard. So we still do it the same way. All natural ingredients. Most are sourced here in Michigan. And um, we're looking forward to hopefully a busy summer yet. But you've been making fudge since you were a little kid yourself. And you yeah. still come in and, and help out sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the way the way I feel right now, it feels like I've been making it since 1887. You know, no, I started right away. I can barely see over these... Um, Marble, marble tables, you know, and this is the same as the store that I actually worked in as a as a 15 year old. So I still like to make it. Um, I've got other stuff going on. I make it more during the holiday time. Um, but yeah, it's still the it's still the same process. We had flavored new flavors every year. We're, we haven't quite figured out this year what we're going to do. We're thinking maybe like a spicy chocolate. So we have some nice uh, fresh ingredients that we're going to um, be, be trying here after we get through this uh, this past weekend. You know, Carnell, Carnell's here working hard. He had a good winter in Fort Lauderdale. So he's back. A lot of the crew's back actually. So we think we could, uh, we think we could actually have a, you know, kind of salvage the year and have a decent, decent season. It's just been strange, I guess, for everyone, you guys. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's an understatement. I realize that. Yeah. Bobby, I think it's it's also amazing that the techniques that you're using, the, the copper kettles over there, the marble tables, these are things that were around right from the very beginning, back to 1887. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, these are the same bars I used uh, 25 years ago. Really, everything's the same, guys, except we had, you know, we had flavors. You know, we still uh, do a ton of fudge. We do taffy, English toffee. Uh, Peter Brittle is a big deal. Peter Brittle and Cashew Brittles. We offer that as well. That's also online, originalmerdicksfudge.com. And, you know, I think everybody up here does fudge great. You know, we like to say maybe we do a little bit better. Sometimes it's a personal preference thing. We certainly try hard, but our brittle is great. And we're, uh, we're known for our fudge, but our bean brittle and cashew brittle is also. You know. Get out of the way. <laughs> Get out of the way of Carnot. I'm mean, trying, trying to work. <laughs> like fudge and brittle, you know? <laughs> Carnot's lost a few pounds here. He just slides right by me. I think 
You are looking good, Carno. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, Bobby Benzer from Murdoch Fudge, uh, walk us through the fudge making process. So, what exactly is Carno doing? How does this start off? And tell us a little bit about the ingredients that you use to make delicious yeah, Mackinac so, Island okay, fudge. Um, it starts with um, a, a fair amount of sugar, right? Um, if we're doing chocolate, there's chocolate, uh, Michigan cream, Michigan butter. You know, fresh Georgia pecans, um, California walnuts, all really natural ingredients. It starts in the copper kettle. Everything's weighed ahead of time, you know, precisely to the one sixteenth of an ounce or so. Um, it cooks to a certain temperature, right, right around 235. It takes about 12 minutes. And then we pour it onto the table, the marble table. And the marble table functions to absorb the heat, slowly absorb the heat from the fudge. And then when it gets to a certain consistency, and Cornell and other fudge bakers know what that is, um, they start to work it between the, the bars and then go to this larger spade that you see Carnell using right now. Um, so he'll, he'll, we call it spade, which creams the fudge and kind of, you know, enters air into the process. So he'll be doing this for, you know, another probably two or three minutes. And again, he knows the exact consistency. And then we'll start to work it into a, a loaf, a 30 pound loaf um, with these smaller tools that are on that middle table. But um, yeah, these marble tables have been here. I think the one in the middle is new. The far table has been here forever. It's got a big crack. We're going to change that out here soon. But it's all really the same the same process as 1887 for the most part. And a lot of the a lot of what we're doing in this store has been here for, I mean, I say 25 years, but it might be 40, 40 or 50. So my dad started in 1955. <laughs> he's still uh, he's still involved. He's still asking a lot of questions. He's 91 now and doing great. And um, he got to know Mr. Murdoch. He ran a a little place called Tasty Freeze. Tasty Freeze was a big deal back in the 50s. He thought there might be opportunity on Mackinac, you know, as a tourist destination, which at that time was, you know, quite a vision, really, because Mackinac was not, back then, it was only like a 70, 80, 90 day season. So he had a little 20 by 20 building called, called the Tasty Freeze back then, and it was right next door to the original Murdoch's building, uh, right across from the Lilac Hotel. So he became friends with Mr. Murdoch. He helped Mr. Murdoch, and when he went to sell the, the business, Instead of selling it to a family member, he, he liked my my father, um, and uh, so he, he sold to my dad. And I remember them as a little kid, Mr. And Mrs. Murdoch. Mrs. Murdoch would hold me in the back room, and uh, yeah, they're really special to our you know our family in a way. And uh, we're in a fun business, you know. We all get along. We do lots of things throughout the summer. You know, we're doing holiday fudge, as you guys know. Um, but yeah, we're hopefully you know business as usual now. So. Well, I love hearing about the history of Mackinac Island, and you are such a great resource for that. I think that people forget that, um, you know, they just come up for a, a day or a weekend in the in the summer, and they don't realize, you know, that it's a one, a year-round place, and two, that there are families that have been there for generations um, living and loving Mackinac Island. You know, pretty much, yeah. A lot of us, uh, you know, worked as kids um, in our kind of second generation or third generation, but most of us are still you know, involved in the, the family businesses now. And uh, yeah, there's certainly a lot of, you know, kind of family history here too. Um, and we all really get along, you know, we kind of com compete in a way, but it's really, I call it friendly competition. You know, sometimes that's better, you know, critical mass, we're all doing our thing, whether it's a hotel or a restaurant or fudge. Um, it's not a big deal. We just try to do as good of a job as we can for the guests, you know, from all over the world coming to Mackinac Island. I see someone taking photos of the fudge. Bobby, you love to tell stories. What? Um, <laughs> tell us a few stories of people rushing in to grab some fudge before they head to a ferry. Have you run into any customers that uh, get a little excited? Yeah, I mean, you, you get that, especially the kids. You know, that's the best part about it. The kids come in, you know, they're right here. Even as when I was a kid, I just love to come in and you almost get mesmerized watching the process, you know. But they'll most most uh, leave with a bag of fudge, you know, and um, they, they, they um, you know, sometimes there's lines before the before they catch the boat. I'm hoping that's going to be the case again this summer or this summer. But uh, yeah, there's uh, it's really a place for for family and for kids. We've made that mad dash, right, Amy? Uh, yeah, many guys, times. <laughs> Whoops, we got a well, yeah, the best one is we had a we had an order for two tons of fudge from a pharmaceutical company. We had to make it like in three days. So Carnell and the guys made, uh, gosh, uh, you know, what's thir forty batches times thirty, so twelve hundred pounds. You know, it's almost. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, for three days in a row, and we loaded up a semi and drove it out to Philadelphia. So that was our most interesting order. Right, Carnell? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we won't go into water. He's real happy about that. 
<laughs> what? Uh, only Carnell and I know. <laughs> how many flavors are you? <laughs> that size of order. We don't. We haven't had one since then. But we get some big orders. You know, we do. You know, we do wedding favors. We ship. You know, fudge all over the country, really, for you know our small little cute wedding favor boxes. But some like, you know, the traditional half pound box that basically the same look that we've had for, you know, fifty plus years. What? How many flavors do you have? What are the most popular ones, Bobby? Yeah, we have. We have. 21 flavors. The most popular is still chocolate, you know, plain chocolate, kind of the classic chocolate that we've done probably when, you know, that Mr. Murdoch did back in 1887 to start. It was kind of that, you know, Michigan maple is a big deal um, for sure, but it's really chocolate, chocolate, peanut butter, double chocolates, uh, a big seller. And the other one is sea salt caramel. People like, you know, obviously the chocolate and the caramel. So but my, my personal favorites, you know, anything, anything chocolate. And I just like a straight up double chocolate fudge. Do, do you still eat the fudge like every day? Do you, yeah. do, you do quality checks? When I was a kid, I ate a lot of it, you know, and uh, I still eat it when I'm in here and I get my little craving, especially brittle when it's on the table warm. Um, but I try not to, you know what I mean? I just don't need, I don't need the LBs. So <laughs> I still eat it. I mean, I, will still, I, I, I still eat it. I, I just not as much, you know? I tell you what, when I when I'm on Mackinac Island, I don't worry about the LBs, right? That's just not something you worry about. Yeah, you're only here. Well, you're here a lot, guys. I was gonna say you're only here a few times <laughs> summer, but I think, I think you're close to being a resident. Yeah, thank you. You always bring up, you always bring up high energy. You bring high energy when you come here. So, uh, yeah, but every day I, I really can't eat every day, but I bet it's three times a week. Quality control. <laughs> yeah, that, there you go. We'll, 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 we'll leave it at that. Yeah. I love that. Well, we are so excited that Mackinac Island is reopening for visitors um, and welcoming people back in and that it's National Fudge Day and we can all celebrate with Murdoch's whether we can be on island or not. And I love the, the special package that you have um, incorporating the Traverse City Cherry slice. If you buy five slices, you get to have the, the extra slice of Traverse City Cherry sent as well, correct? Yeah, so you're kind of looking at it now, you know, our commemorative gift box that was, uh, you know, a, a uh, a local artist did that illustration. So that's very popular. So if you order this particular box with five slices, the promo code is, is um, fudge, fudge Day. Fudge Day. And then with that, you get a, a free slice of um, Traverse City Cherry Fudge. So Traverse City Cherry Fudge is free with a code Fudge Day. And it, it runs your next like next Sunday. So you have, you have a week. And um, as we've talked about, we ship, we really ship, it's kind of neat, we ship fudge all over the country and we usually hit all 50 states. Which is great. Well, and those, yeah. those uh, big packages, you always use a local artist to yes. create the art for those packages, right? Yep. So we'll do another one, uh, Amy. We'll do another box, of, a new box for uh, 2020 here yet this summer. So we're still obviously with a slow start now we're behind a bit but uh we'll, we'll run run through these boxes and have another another neat Mackinac um box and as you guys know there's no like bad picture on Mackinac Island you know everywhere you go <laughs> there's something interesting natural beauty horses grand hotel you know the east bluff the west bluff it goes on and on so there's never a shortage of something to paint hey, Bobby, real, <laughs> That's real, <for> sure. <laughs> real quick to, to yeah. kind of wrap things up um how do you explain Mackinac Island, because Amy and I both feel it's a magical place. I mean, you you spent so many years there. You have all history there, family there. You know, how do you explain the magic of what Mackinac Island is? Right, um, it's a magical place. Right now, I've got to be honest; it, it doesn't seem so magical, but it'll it'll come back here uh, shortly. Where, um, but I really, Gonzo, to me, it's it's really the natural beauty. As I said earlier, it's wherever you go, there's natural beauty. And you have the hustle and bustle downtown, but when you go up into the interior of the island, or certainly take the eight, eight mile trip around the island, it's just very peaceful. Like coming off the boat, you almost decompress. You've left the city, wherever you've left, and you hear the clip clop of the horses and kids, you know, on a tandem bike. It's uh, it's pretty neat. But the, from the history to the natural beauty, uh, it's a wonderful place. I guess the, the other thing I like to mention: people come here for the day, you know, but you don't realize there's like 1,400 um, hotel rooms here on the island, which is a lot, you know. And you really haven't experienced all of Mackinac Island until you've spent the night. It's a different place by night, as you guys know. But some just come up, you know, for the day. And I always re try to reach out to those folks and say, you know, you should try to stay for stay for a night because it's a different place. It's 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 even more magical after you know eight o'clock, nine o'clock when the last boat goes back to uh, Mackinac City or St. Ignatius. We agree, and it, it does transform in many ways. But one of my favorite things is waking up in the morning on Mackinac and seeing the yes. sunrise and hear, hearing the horses, and that that's that. It's those moments of quiet solitude that you don't find during the day on the island that are that truly 
bring it to life and make it super magical. I just, I yeah, love, I love that. Yeah. Great, great sunrise here. It's a beautiful sunrise. It's always quiet. And the first boat comes over by, you know, 11 o'clock. It's, as you know, Main Street, the, the hustle and bustle. And you can always have that, enjoy that, go to the Pink Pony, Horns, all the spots. But it's, uh, it's wonderful when you can get out on your bikes, head up to Fort Holmes, the highest point on the island, go, go around. You can, you know, bike, walk, hike. You know, lots, lots of things to do. So you burn off the fudge. You know what I mean? You burn the <laughs> I might have to circle around a couple of times after I've had original Murdoch's fudge. Yeah. Well, Bobby yeah, Bunzer, if people, yeah. if people want to get some original Murdoch's fudge, uh, possibly shipped to their house, or they'd like to come visit you on the island, where do they get more information? Yeah, so originalmurdochsfudge.com. Originalmurdochsfudge.com is the best place to go. It has more on our history. It has, you know, offerings for, you know, our most popular gift box. We make it easy so you can just you know, pick and click, um, or you can customize it as to however you like it, whether it's fudge, brittle, taffy, um, caramel corn. So originalmurdochsfudge.com is the best way to do it. It goes out FedEx, and um, usually, you know, within two days in Michigan, and even some of the surrounding states, it's there. It's it's, sh it's shipped and, and uh, delivered within two days. So, yeah, we, we try to make it easy, and uh, as you guys know, you know, the online thing is a is a important aspect of the business well bobby so good sure to, <laughs> so good to see you uh we yeah, can't wait you, to get up to this summer when are you coming up, when are you coming <laughs> good, up? good question hopefully soon hopefully yeah. soon <laughs> yeah, no doubt. we'll be back to normal we can't soon, wait you know Mm -hmm. hey there's no better place than uh, of course back Island, but northern michigan and through all of this you know the clean air uh, the, you know the clean water whether it's traverse city or gaylord golf or canoeing or biking you know, we're blessed really to be in the state that we're in. And certainly, uh, I love Lower Michigan, love GR where you guys are and Metro Detroit and all that Lower Michigan has to offer. But it's pretty neat to be, you know, in Northern Michigan, especially in these times. I think you feel, you know, called a bit safer, you know, because there's just less density and, uh, you know, lots of fresh air and fresh water. And fudge. <laughs> And lots oh, of fresh fudge. <laughs> Thank you yet. to, to Carmel nice for making it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want to order some original Murdoch fudge, you can go to originalmurdochfudge.com or you can visit them when you are on Mackinac Island. Right, John? That's right. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you soon on our next trip around the state.